Woodrow Wilson was president. We were in World War I. Um, Emma Goldman was arrested for lecturing on birth control. And then later on the same year, um, she, uh, they opened a, a birth control clinic in Brooklyn, New York City. So I guess it paid off. The first woman was elected into Congress by the state of Montana in 1916. Albert Einstein was just finishing his theory of relativity, and there was not yet a Nobel Prize for chemistry, physics, physiology, or medicine. Just 100 years ago. Now think about, think about that. So there's a lot of dots to connect today, and I don't have time to connect them, I'm going to go pretty fast. But think about that, where we were in medicine for just, just 100 years ago. So, this is depicting love, but I like the way the artist rendered the skin. Um, it's a little stringy, and this is what we're going to talk about, collagen. This might be the most important slide to understand the Ehlers Danlos today. So, collagen, the Greek for collagen is kola, it means glue, it means infrastructure. So, what do you think about when you think of collagen? You might think of wrinkles or not having enough collagen in our society, you might think of Botox. Um, so collagen is actually this incredible glue, this infrastructure. When you think of the strength of your body, usually I think of bones and muscles, right? Mm -hmm. But actually there's collagen in your, uh, so collagen gives the skin, the connective tissue, the fascia, the bones, the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, and joints, their strength, their glue, and their infrastructure, and plays a role in the replacement of dead skin cells. Collagen is also found in cartilage, the corneas of your eyes, blood vessels, your gut, your intervertebral disc, and the dentin in your teeth. So, if there isn't that glue in your bones, in your skin, in your muscle, in the tendons, in the ligaments, if there isn't collagen, they become elastic. And there's virtually no structure. And that is the basis of, because we're going to be talking about all these secondary diseases, and it'll get confusing, but remember that this is the bottom line for Ehlers Danlos. This is why. Um, collagen helps tissues resist deformation. Abnormal collagen production renders these structures more elastic. So look at the, the uh, scaffolding on this building. is much like what collagen does to our skin, our fascia. Imagine the, the building underneath that being your bone. And so the incredible, seeing the destructive as we move through this, seeing the destruction that, that is, wreaks havoc in the body when we don't have this, also um, uh, gives a little praise to how incredible the fascia, the connective tissue, and the skin is. So the yellow part, that's your collagen. Here's more collagen, um, computer graphics of it. You see in the, in the um, turquoise, uh, side of the skin with not much turquoise in it, that is uh, unhealthy skin with a lot of turquoise, that's a lot of collagen. Uh, one side is healthy skin, one is unhealthy. 75% of your dermis is made of collagen, 75%. And before we go to the next slide, what of the 50 trillion some cells in your body, what is your main nutrient for your cells? Anybody? Real no, fast? Oxygen. Oxygen? oxygen, yes. And um, What's your main function? What's your main oxygen is your main nutrient? What's your main function? Respiration. Yeah, breath. Yes. And what's our what's our form? Our body, right? Our body is our main form. And what's the other nutrient besides oxygen that's that's the most important to our body that we're made of about 70, 90 percent of? Water. Water. Thank you. Okay. Good. So. So the lack of collagen equals physical lack of strength from within. Collagen runs through 80% of the body, so it affects virtually every system. Think about that. Okay, here this is fun. So just imagine what we just saw, the scaffolding. Now these are electromagnetic lines of the earth. Can we see these with our visible eye? No. But we know that they're there, and look how much they look like, the connective tissue. And look at the layers of the skin and we're going to pass this around, and you can just take a gander. This is just to show you how incredible the skin is, so you get a close-up look. See, the volcano, it actually looks like a pimple or a hair follicle coming up out. It's just something to observe and notice. What is ehlers danlos Syndrome? Well, we had way back 400 BC, Hippocrates saw features of EDS, ehlers danlos named after Edvard Ehlers from Denmark and Henry Alexander Danlos from France. A group of inherited connective tissue disorders caused by various defects in the synthesis of collagen in bones, blood vessels, connective tissue, and more, which we already mentioned. What causes it? 
Um, this is one that is caused by uh, uh, genetic mutation, sometimes consanguineous parentage. So con means together, sanguine means blood, blood that's together, redundant blood. So out of this neurological um, study from India, three out of four of the case studies in this article were consanguineous parentage. EDS is caused by the inefficiency of structure production and or processing of collagen and proteins that interact with collagen. So if there's not enough collagen there and the pro those proteins can't interact with it, then that causes a problem as well. Um, so a little bit about the genetics. Um, autosomal dominant, just so you understand this, is, is uh, gene mutation from one parent. Autosomal recessive is from two parents. Um, this is just telling you the types of Ehlers-Danlos. So symptoms that they all have in common, joint laxity, soft velvety skin, easy bruising, system, uh, systemic manifestations uh, like IBS, neuromuscular complications, and chronic pain. There's some things they all have in common. Now we're going to go a little bit and see what each of them, um, this is a wide shot of Ehlers-Danlos. So classical type, joint hypermobility, skin hyperextensibility, skin fragility, Joint dislocation, scoliosis, sprains, strains, remember sprains are joints, ligaments, strains are muscles, and this is uh, uh, autosomal dominant. Hypermobility type, this is what I worked with. Joint hypermobility is major manifestation. Any joint can be affected. Dislocations are frequent, inherited as autosomal dominant. Vascular type is very serious type, spontaneous ruptures of arteries, bowels, Blood foot can be present at birth, skin laxity, translucent skin, uh, hypermobility, and this is also recessive. Kyphoscoliosis type, fragile globe of the eyes, significant skin and joint laxity, severe curvature of the spine, joint hypermobility, this is recessive. Arthroplasia, arthro means joint, plasia means a relaxation of, of, of a ring of muscles. We have about 50 sphincters in our body, so imagine they're supposed to close and open at the proper time, so imagine if they don't do that, what would happen? Um, these are people short in height, severe joint laxity, a joint hypermobility, dislocation, skin laxity. Uh, this can be both autosomal dominant or recessive. Um, there is one called dermatis paraxis type, th that means tearing of the skin. Severely fragile skin, soft, doughy, sagging, folding, redundant skin, rare form, joint hypermobility, and there's other types besides that. These are some interesting photos. <laughs> so the guy holding the coat looks kind of like a yogi, right? But he didn't have to practice to do that. He just can do that naturally because his joints are, remember, there's no stability. The, the ligaments are lax. Um, and the extreme hyperextensibility of the skin this is extreme uh, scoliosis, hyposcoliosis type, um, extreme S-curve. Um, Gary Turner, he's a celebrity. He um, does a circus thing. So there are many, including my patient, she was a trapeze artist, and she um, trained to be in the circus. Um, and so the small neck of the finger is there and the paper-thin skin. Signs and symptoms of EDS, hypermobile joints, eye complications, Chronic pain, osteoporosis, osteopenia, easy bruising, swan neck and fingers, tearing of tendons or muscles, unstable joints from sprain, dislocation, subluxation, hyperextension. Thoracic outlet syndrome. Now remember, that all these secondary diseases, I just want to mention that just because you would see this in a patient, it would be extremely inappropriate if you would you know, ever say something like, do you have ED you might have EDS. This is a very rare disease. And they usually have to see, uh, like my patient constantly said, oh, I saw like 50 doctors. Well, yeah, they're going to see a lot of doctors because you're not going to diagnose this right off the bat. And, and we'll talk about misdiagnoses. Swan neck of the fingers, tearing of tendons or muscles, unstable joints, prone to sprain, dislocation, subluxation, hyperextension. Oh, I already read that. Um, so going on. So the thoracic outlet syndrome, um, and we're just going to remind ourselves of this a little bit. Um, so imagine if the shoulder joint is hypermobile and it just sort of collapses, and imagine that all the skin in here collapses because there's no infrastructure and in, there's no collagen, and the thoracic outlet syndrome is a group of diseases where things are compressed between the first rib and the clavicle, like the brachial plexus nerves, the long thoracic nerve, and the blood vessels. So imagine when they sleep, if this is just collapsed in on itself, how it could cause pain. Um, deformities of the spine, scoliosis, kyphosis, these are continue with the symptoms. Tethered spinal cord is when 
uh, tissues, particular tissues will attach themselves to their spinal cord and then it makes it um, difficult for them to move. Occipital lantel axial hypermobility is malformation of the occiput, that's the base of your skull, and C1 and C2. Atlas is C1, axis C2, and imagine that that's hypermobile, the head might not even stay on very well. Um, myalgia is muscle pain, arthralgia is joint pain, um, positive trend Ellisberg, Osgood's water disease. Now these are also secondary diseases. Why did I choose these? Well, actually, when I was uh, researching this, when I found symptoms and, and secondary diseases, there was like a list of 100. Because remember that 80% of, of our system has collagen in it. So remember, every system could be affected. Virtually, you can see anything, almost. Um, so I mentioned positive trend Ellisberg, I know you guys are familiar with that, but uh, you know, God forbid you see positive Trendelenburg and you think they have EDS, right? So that they might, but an EDS patient may have that because of their instability in their pelvis. Um, and so Osgood Slaughter's, uh, so here's a, um, here's a, just a remembrance of what Trendelenburg's is, the weak glutamine, glutamine or paralysis of the abductor muscles, and you see that when they walk. Um, the Osgood slaughters is, is normally, uh, we see it in repetitive childhood injury. Um, for EDS, you know, their knee could be hypermobile. Because of the instability in their joints, they could be falling more than a normal person. My patient certainly did. And bruising happens, and then you get a painful lump that's inflamed at the tibia tubercle where the patellar tendon and tibia tubercle meet. Okay. Um, kinesiophobia, the fear of movement. Can you imagine, just imagine being in someone's skin where there's no infrastructure and there's no stability and you've seen a million doctors telling you what to do and what not to do, wouldn't you be scared to move? Um, it's, it's, you have to really have compassion for these people. Wounds that don't heal, cuts that don't close up, ruptured blood vessels, ruptured by the organs, depression, IBS, neurological difficulties, sometimes seizures, psychological difficulties, sometimes autism. And IBS, EDS, a piece of the puzzle. This is interesting. I found the American Scientific. So, quote, scientists were shocked to learn that about 90% of the fibers in the primary visceral nerve, the vagus, carry information to the gut, from the gut to the brain, and not the other way around. Spiral. I'll check it out. Spiral. Keep so going. Can you get the girl? Okay. I don't know. Well, it's first day of the too. It's never happened in all the days of her career. I don't know. She hasn't made it. I thought she was going to go ballistic. Oh, good. We'll have to go outside. Too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> so hot, so hot. Saved by the bell. Saved by the 